What's happening people? I'm back in the kitchen again today and I have been to Tesco's and I found another whoopsie. I love a whoopsie and I also love a pie. So I've got this steak and kidney pie by Holland's. Now, I've done a few pies on this channel. I did a few, I even did a festive pie at Christmas. I did, um, I've done a Sunday dinner pie. I've done a pucker pie. I've done uh, some Just Essentials pies. I've done Hearty Food Company pies. I've, I've done a lot of pies, but never the biggest brand of pie, probably in the UK, which is a Holland's pie. Generally, these pucker have started to make a, um, a play for the biggest brand, um, like in the in the chip shops, generally you either get pucker pies or Holland's pies. Back in the day, it used to be all Holland's pies all the time in every chip shop. Now, pucker have uh, started making a play for it, like, and you see pucker more often than not, probably giving them a better deal. However, Holland's are still floating about the supermarkets, and but they're pretty expensive. So this, the price, the original price for this is £1.50 for one pie. One pie! So I know it's steak, it's steak and kidney pie, but £1.50, it says British beef and kidney, British and Irish beef and kidney, but £1.50, that's how much you'd normally pay, and that's one of the reasons why I haven't reviewed it, because it's pretty expensive for a pie, and it's not a big pie, it's just a little, not a fancy pie, it's just a little, it's a microwave pie, actually, I'm just looking at that, two minutes of microwave, so I might do that, you can open bake it, but I might just microwave it and see, see what it's like. However, like I said, it was a whoopsie, so I got this for... 54 pence you got to love a yellow sticker 54 pence right let's take a look at this pack before we decide whether we're going to oven cook it or air fry or bang it in microwave i think we're going to probably microwave it for convenience and price and you could maybe you could take it to work so let's have a look at this packet so here is the packet Steak and kidney pie, Holland's, a proper British baker since 1851. Like I said, they're British and Irish beef and kidney. And there's two ways to cook there. You can microwave it for two minutes or oven bake for 15 to 20. And it's free from artificial colours, artificial flavours and MSG. Keep refrigerated, this has been used by the April the 13th. Now this is a little bonus one. I've actually just been shopping for the Hearty Food Company mini-series that I'll be doing next week at the time of filming, but this is probably going to come out later on, so please ignore this day. I do film in advance, but it has to be eaten today because it's a whoopsie at 54 pence. A third of the price, really. So let's have a look at the ingredients. Oh, it's a 19% beef I saw there. Okay, so there, that, that's the ingredients, if you can see that. It's a bit of a... With, with a packet, it's a bit awkward, but you've got 19% beef there and 6% kidney. So it's 25% meat, which is better than some... Better than most pies, really. You've got wheat and milk as the allergens. And allergy advice says... Some bones may remain, but it's been produced in the United Kingdom. Let's have a look at the nutritional information. Per pie, 450 calories. 15 grams of protein, 22 grams of fat. But like I said before, you're not eating a pie to be healthy. So, oven for best results. Hmm, should I oven it? It's 15 or 20 minutes in oven. Oh, I'm at a dilemma. I feel like I might just microwave it. You know what, I'm going to microwave it. Two minutes in microwave. Let's go for convenience. Let's take a look at this. Oh, there you go. Reminds me of a chip shop pie. Proper pie. Nothing fancy about this. There's no no parsley on the top, no different types of pastry on the top or the bottom. It's all the same style all the way around. This it's a proper old fashioned British pie. Steak and kidney. Right. I'm gonna get this on a tray. You don't put it in the microwave on the foil tray, of course. I'll get it on a plate even and put it in the microwave for two minutes and I'll bring you back when it's done. 
So if you like watching food reviews like this, then please drop a like on this video. It really does help the YouTube algorithm push the videos and the channel out. And if you haven't already, I look at my analytics and over half of you are not subscribed to the channel. We're nearly at 5,000 and half of you watching haven't subscribed to the channel. So hit that subscribe and the notify bell so you get notified when I upload new videos like this. And I, I do it every day. And three times a week, I do it twice a day. You get 10 videos a week from this channel. So please help me by hitting that subscribe and the notify and dropping a like. And a comment, let me know if you've had, what's your favorite type of pie? Is it Holland's, is it Pucker? Is it one of the own brands ones? Who knows, let me know. This is done now. It looks a bit sunken if I'm honest. So come down here and have a look at this. So, oh wow, it's so hot. It's so hot. I'm going to put it back into that and let it cool for a minute, but let's not bother. Let's just, uh, let's just cut into it. Let's go straight in for a taste. Oh, look at that. Nice piece of meat there. get a focus on it nice juicy piece of steak good neighbor it's so hot but look at that it's actually full there's no well there's a tiny bit of an air hole there but not much this is really brand packed it's so warm and burning my hands however that is looking fantastic for a pie so I'm going to cut this up and give it a taste because it's too warm to grab with your hands like you would at the football that's how I like to eat them though so I might let it cool down so it's all important taste time and I've cut it a little bit up because I can't grab it with my hands normally I grab it with my hand like a, like a pie at the football grab it your hand and munch it but I'll be a bit more civilised and I've cut it up a little bit so let's have a go Look at that. Oh wow, that is really tasty. Now of course, the pastry is a bit soft because it's been microwaved and you can probably get a crispier, a crisp on the pastry if you oven cooked it. However, that inner, that, that filling in there is absolutely banging. Now, I know I'm a big gravy guy and a big gravy fan, but this steak and kidney, you can really taste that steak. It's soft, it's succulent, it's really nice. Mm. And then you've got, oh, those juicy pieces of kidney. Oh, yes. And the gravy is fantastic. Proper compliment to it. Oh, I'm going to take this top, but look at that. Look in there. Oh, it's pulled it over. I'm going to take the top off here. Oh, look at that. I'm just taking the top off here. <laughs> That is absolutely fantastic. Mm. Do you know what? <laughs> the reason I stay I stayed away in the past of Holland's pies is because at one pound fifty for one pie, pretty expensive, but. Let me see if you can freeze these. Are these freezable? It does say keep refrigerated. Suitable for home freezing. So there were four. There were four in the in Tesco's at fifty four pence. I only bought one for this review. But I should have looked and seen if they're suitable for home freezing because if I see these again at fifty four pence a pie, and they're suitable for home freezing, bang them in your freezer because that's an absolute steal for fifty four p. An absolute steal. However. 150 I'm probably even though 
taste is a 9 out of 10. It is really, really nice. 150 a pie is a bit excessive. Um, I mean, I suppose I talk about getting a, getting a pie at a football. You're probably paying four or five quid a football for a pie. So, mate, I'm, how much are they at chip shop? Two and a half quid? 280, 290. So, maybe the same pies, aren't they? So, maybe 150 is not too bad. Maybe it's just a different a different perspective, a different way of looking at it. It's like, I suppose it's like when you make a burger and I think, oh, buying the, the premium burgers or the premium pizzas from the supermarket. And then you don't, you don't, you think, you think, oh, that's a bit expensive, four quid for a pizza. But then you go to Domino's and pay 10, 20. Well, not 20, I would never pay full price for Domino's, but you know what I mean? Like, you get, you'd even pay, even in your boss man pizza shop, you're getting, you're paying eight, nine quid for a pizza. So half the price of that, and you're still getting a decent pizza. So I think it's a perspective thing. I know that everything's gone up, and used, things that used to be two and a half quid might be four quid now. And that's why we're thinking that they're expensive. But in reality, they're not as expensive as eating out and stuff like that. I know that you don't have to cook it and make it and wash up and all that sort of stuff. But I don't know. What do you think? 150 for one single pie? Too, too expensive? Or is it just a perspective thing? I think I think it's both. <laughs> 54 pence though, that's an absolute steal. So if you see it reduced, get them, freeze them, have it whenever you want. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time for another food review. Did somebody say just What's happening people? Back in the kitchen again. Hope you're all fantastic. Thanks for watching. Would be special. Wouldn't buy that again. <laughs>